Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of our Pikmin 4 Let's Play. Last episode, we finished up our Night Expeditions in the Blossoming Arcadia. We've done every Night Expedition currently available to us. So, the next obvious step is just to keep exploring during the day. We've got a whole new area opened up to us. we got to find our pilot, Bernard, who apparently has been turned into a leafling, according to Dingo. Who knows how true that is? Uh, Dingo does seem to be hiding a little something there, but... We did pick up uh, two extra capsules of the glow sap medicine for curing leaflings. So if we do find any leaflings, uh, two of them will be fine. After that, we have to head on some more expeditions, but we'll probably do that a bit later. Um, I'm very excited to check out this new area. Hopefully, you know, find some new Pikmin types. Who knows? Let's check out what gear we can make before we head on out. Create a new item. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what gear can we make, though? Like, permanent gear. That's what I'm really here for. Ooh, all kinds of stuff. Um... So we can punch better with that. Honestly, I'm going to get the headlamp plus. It's not even that expensive, so I might as well. We do have 100 left, but I think it's a good idea to have some extra raw material when heading to a location just in case we want to build some bridges. So let's head on out. All set out here. I'm all ready to explore. We're going to head to the Serene Shores, the new area we unlocked. So let's head over here for the first time. Uh, Serene Shores, it definitely seems like water Pikmin or, excuse me, blue Pikmin are going to be very useful here. So let's head on up. See what they got for us. Uh, I believe we're up to... How many Pikmin types do we have now? We have the Onion for red, blue, and yellow, obviously. I believe we, we definitely have Ice Pikmin. And I believe we found Rock Pikmin, too. I think we've got those. We also picked up a few extra Glow Seeds during a night expedition. So if we're in any caves and we need Pikmin, Glow Seeds will allow us to turn... Like, get Glow Pikmin in caves. After we leave the caves, it doesn't sound like the Glow Pikmin will come with us, which is a little sad. I do love Glow Pikmin, but it seems like they're kind of not, not uh, used to the sunlight or something. They're not capable of existing in direct sunlight. So caves and night are the only time we're really going to get to use them. Uh, hopefully won't really have to use too many glow seeds during uh, any explorations of the serene shores. I want to save them for any more, some dangerous caves later on. But here we are. Look at this. Looks like a big sandcastle area. It's like a beach-esque thing. There's a lot of a lot of fish creatures there. Blue Pikmin are definitely going to be our, our number one Pikmin here, I feel like. Look at all that. That's beautiful. Those little, those little fish. Here we are, landing. And pop on out. Hopefully, hoping to find some extra onions here. That'd be very, very nice. But, um, yeah. So we do have rocks. It looks like they want us to use blue and ice pigment. Probably gonna mostly do blue, and they'll get twenty ice pigment. That's fine. Looks like there's some raw material here. I might as well grab. We'll get. One, two, three, four, five. Not a whole lot, but, you know, it's always good to have a little bit of extra uh, raw material. Set up. It does look like there's something going on right over there. It looks like there's that that big creature. So we'll check that out in a sec. Let's head up this direction, though, like up the sandcastle. Ooh, whoa, okay. There's a big rock coming our way. Let's uh, be a bit careful. There's something in, in the dirt there, I see. I'm going to ignore that for now because I want to see what's dropping these rocks on us before they take us out. Uh, just like I pictured, there's a, a big old cannon beetle. Let's go to his side and then ram into him. Oh, he, he was able to get underground before we were able to jump on him. That's all right. Let's wait for him to come back up, and then we'll hit him from a new angle and charge. Get a bunch of Pikmin on him. Uh, unfortunately, we, we killed him before, uh, before I was able to call the Pikmin off. I don't love killing the, the enemies when they're frozen like that, because then obviously we don't get to bring their corpses back, which is a little sad, but... Little crab creature. Good thing I, I saved saved this. I was, I was thinking it was going to be something aggressive, so let's call everybody back and walk on up here. We'll definitely come back and get those corpses in a bit. Looks like there's a big star fruit over there. I'm curious what's at the top of this, though. Um, some weird scorpion-looking thing. A new landing spot. So let's let's just head on in. Who knows? What can this thing really do? What's it going to do at us? Is it going to charge? Yep, looks like it. We can lock into his tail. Let's throw a Pikmin. Oh, it looks like so we need to weigh it down. How many? We need six more Pikmin. Come on, one, two. Oh, is he shaking them off? Uh-oh. Come here, Ochi. Quick, everyone on. Everyone on. No, what are you doing? Uh-oh. Weigh it down, weigh it down. Okay, I think we saved our Pikmin. Let's charge everyone on its tail. You too, Ochi. Fight it. Okay, we're going to need to do it a few times, it looks like. Oh, he definitely got our Pikmin there. I don't think we can get 15 on his tail in time. No, definitely not. That's all right. And then let's charge at his tail. What if we freeze him this time? There we go. Hopefully we don't kill him while he's frozen. I do want this, this big old guy's corpse. 
Come on. Come here, everybody. He's, he's going to get another guy. Come on. Weigh him down. Weigh him down. There we go. And this time, I think we got him. Grab on, Blue Pikmin. And there we go. Perfect. Unlock the new base. Might as well bring our thing up here immediately. Let's call some Pikmin out. It's a big old corpse. Okay, looks like we lost an ice and a blue. That's fine. Oh, we also got some treasure, it looks like. Let's let's get Ochi to bring that back. And then we'll get ice. We can bring that back. Is there anything else? I don't think so. Let's jump on Ochi. Perfect. She got quite a few Pikmin from that. Looks like there's a little something over here. So we'll get our ice Pikmin working on building this. Is there anything interesting down here? Oh, it looks like a cave. We'll keep in mind that that's down there, although I don't really want to go into that quite yet. Let's see if there's anything of interest down this direction. Oh, it looks like there's a way for Pikmin to get up. There's some gold there. I'm going to see what their path back would be, though. I knew there was going to be something there. I knew they were trying to bait me. Let's frame into him, get some Pikmin on him. Oh, nice, we're able to take him out without uh, freezing him that time. So we're able to get that corpse. Ooh, there's another one. Come here, guys. I didn't mean to throw you. Okay, let's let's be a bit wary. These guys can absolutely obliterate your Pikmin number, so you want to be very careful with them. Luckily, again, we're able to take them out without too much problem. Let's get some blue Pikmin on that. And then I think they're good. I think we can just send them out to kind of wrap around here. Yeah, it looks like it. So let's do that. We might need yellow Pikmin to reach out. Honestly, that might be too high up. Yeah, I think so. That's all right, though. We'll get Blue's working on bringing that back. Then we'll get... Ooh, actually, hold on. No, come here, guys. Ochi can bring that back. And then we'll get Blue's working on this big old pile of raw material. Perfect. Um, I think we do... Oh, wait, hold on. Ochi, come here. We don't need yellows. We can probably knock this down. Yeah, perfect. Okay. How much is that? If it's five, that's perfect. Wow. Okay. Now we can get everything back. In one little trip. We're not wasting any Pikmin. Very, very efficient. Go us. It's coming up here. There's that gold pile I want to grab, too. So, let's climb on up. We did lose no Pikmin down there, which is nice. Oh, we got that new area over there to check out as well. I was, I was curious. I was like, where'd the ice Pikmin go? They're chilling over here. That's right. Come here, guys. We should get a bunch of blue Pikmin, and then we'll climb up and see what they built up there. Come here, guys. Climb up this little climbing wall they just put up for us. Hopefully something interesting. Oh, definitely. Oh, there's a blue onion. Okay, that's... Uh, we don't necessarily need it, but... I didn't mean to do that. I meant to disband. Uh, actually, no. I wanted only the blues, not the ice. Uh, if we bring that back, we should get a bunch more blue Pikmin, which we don't necessarily need. We're doing fine in blue Pikmin, but there's no reason not to while we're here, right? Let's take care of these creatures before they, they latch on to any of our Pikmin. We have seen this color of onion before, or not Ochi, Colin. We've seen it pretty, pretty recently, so let's get, um, let's just get all our pigment working on digging it up. Why not? Should come up pretty fast, yeah. Then everyone can bring that back. That's fine. Let's make sure we don't leave any behind, though. Yep, 30. Perfect. Water's nice and drained. Let's get all our ice pigment back. We'll get the ice pigment working on this big old gold pile. Why not? Hop on Ochi. And whistle everybody home. That's 20. That's perfect. We have 20 ice pigment. Get on OG, and they should all bring that back pretty quick. We'll get our pigment working on bringing or working on that too, just in case you know. We need to send pigment back up here for whatever reason. Blue onion collected. Perfect. That's gonna give us all kinds of kinds of blue pigment up in there in our onion in case we need any need any backup. So. I do see that big old dirt mound down there. We are probably... Let's go check that out now. Is there any enemies that are going to get in our way? Oh, that's a good question. Not that I see. Oh. See another little little head sticking out of the ground there. I was hoping I'd be able to rush him, but he knocked me over. Let's bam, and then they should be able to take care of him pretty quick. Oh, he threw a few in bubbles. If your Pikmin get caught in bubbles, you can throw, throw other Pikmin to get him down, so... Not too, too worried about that. Um, let's bring his body back. And then we'll send our Pikmin into this dirt mound to collect whatever's there. There's a big paper bag I saw. I'm going to use Ochi, Ochi. Push that down. Just in case it's a nice shortcut or anything. 
I don't think I'm going to head into that cave that's right behind our current landing site. I do see a rubber duck in the water there. That's probably a good treasure. So, ooh. there's a cave right there, too. Let's have them work on that. Should be a nice little shortcut. Looks like there's another landing site over there. I might go check that out in just a sec. Is everybody... Oh, it still looks like they have a ways to go. Um... I might head into the cave now, then. Uh, no, I'll wait. I'll wait for them to finish up. Wait for the, the pile of material to be done. There's a big peach in the water there. It's interesting. Ooh. See, the water level's going down, maybe because it's noon. Got to keep in mind that water can go down here. So, uh, other pigment will probably get more useful as the, the time goes on in this, in this new location. That's kind of interesting. Are you guys done transporting that? No. Okay, honestly, here, let's head over and fight uh, the weird the weird leafling creature we saw. He was right around this corner, wasn't he? Yeah, he's up there. Perfect. Uh, we, we could build this bridge, or we could just, you know, walk on over now that the tide's gone down. Okay, are they done? Almost? Oh, I think these guys are carrying the body. Here, there's only like two more. I think. Come on, there we go. One, two, perfect. Let's see what this guy's got for us. Looks like another castaway. It's that leafling again. And the figure laying down over there might just be our pilot. Yeah, we know how this goes. We're gonna have to follow him into there, aren't we? This is no joke. They could be turned into a leafling. What are you waiting for, newbie? Hurry up and save them. Uh, that's what I'm heading to do. The Dandori Castle. Looks like we only get yellow pigment here. That's a little interesting. Uh, probably going to be a lot of objects in high places that we need to dig up, so. That is what yellow Pikmin are best at. This is Dandori level 3. Ooh, it's getting a little difficult now. It's a little little worrying, but we should be fine. We're, we're pretty good at our time management ability, so I'm not super worried to get a lot of uh, lot of practice with stressful situations with all those night expeditions, too, so. I've been waiting for you. I now have a new rule that I will use to test you. I will explain it in time. Let us begin. Oh, Okay. Here, let's get Pikmin numbers up. That's the best way to start these Dandori challenges is to immediately just see if you can grab any quick numbers. Let's get Ochi working on taking that guy out just, just for some more numbers, obviously. Let's see if we can grab a yellow with that. Perfect. Ochi was able to beat him. Let's see if we can knock this big old lime down. Can grab Ochi on that too. I've noticed that with these Dandori challenges, the best thing you can do is make good use of your space pup. That is the best way to make good progress. One, two, three... Probably can get a few yellows up there. Yep. Perfect. Ooh, that's a big enemy. Let's let's not get in his way. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, they're able to squeak on by. Perfect. Let's grab that one too then. Um they might be able to get this. No, definitely not. Come here, guys. Oh, are they gonna uh oh. Okay, that's not good. Come here, everybody. We did lose one there, which is a little sad, but that's alright. Oh. This is a mystery capsule. As you know, Dandori is part luck. This is an item of mystery, so cannot know what will emerge from its depths. If you use these items, your Dandori will succeed. Pick up many. Use many. Uh, sounds good. Sounds like a little... little fun, like, mystery Dandori loot box of some sort. Looks like you can drop rocks or something. Yeah, wow. That could be pretty good. You just gotta time your time that well, and you can knock out a bunch of your opponent's Pikmin. What are other little secrets they have? Um, we'll, have, we'll get Ochi working on something big over here. How about this? Looks like a persimmon, maybe? Get some big one carrying that back. Let's get one on that. One on that. We should have quite a few back at base. Yep. Looks like he's working on grabbing another persimmon over there. Let's see if we can steal that from him. Here, charge. We might be able to grab it, yeah. Looks like we have a bomb of some sort. I'm gonna... Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, we can drop a bomb here. Perfect. Rocks. Oh, I don't think I timed that very well. Oh, but wait. We might get him with our explosive there. Oh, I think we got our, a bunch of his Pikmin with that. Nice. Okay. And we did, we did manage to steal the persimmon from him, which is very nice. Let's get our Pikmin working on this big old gold pile. If we beat him by more than 100, we do get a, a nice little bonus. So that should be our goal. Looks like bonus find is that uh that oh there there's a 
golden pear. This is a golden sniffer. It's heavy and its value is high. A rare treasure indeed. If you not collect, if you can't collect this, it will carry you closer to victory. Oh, it's right next to us. We might as well. Let's take care of this thing. Here, let's I believe he'll come out of the ground again, won't he? I threw that the wrong way. Can we? Whoa! Oh no. Okay, that really stunk. We have like no Pikmin now. Where's Ochi? Oh, he's over there, isn't he? Yeah, he's still digging that up. Um, that was really bad for us. Here, this, this, okay, it's gonna teleport him away. That's interesting. Uh, lightning, we might use that. I can't believe we lost so many Pikmin to that. That was such a dumb play. Ochi's taking a bit of damage. Where is he? Let's electrocute him. Come here, Ochi. I got a thing I need you to carry back for me. Here, let's have him charge into that and knock that down. And then, honestly, let's have let's sick Ochi on this this cannon beetle and see if he can just take it out himself. Oh, he probably looks like he might be able to. Got a bunch of pigmen back here. Let's see if we can help Ochi out with them. Bonus fine can help you there. True, true. Ooh, we're not doing too great here. Ochi's about to die. Okay. Okay, we were able to get him down. Ochi, you carry that back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's yeah, let's grab that golden sniffer. Let's get that back home. That's probably worth quite a bit of points. You are not grabbing this from us, dude. Come on, move fast, move fast. Is he gonna grab our Pikmin? No, even not fast enough. Here, we'll stick a few more on it just in case. We lot losing that many Pikmin early on really, really bit us. Um, we should be fine. I think Ochi can get that back. We should be able to get this cannon beetle back too, and then I think I'll be able to grab that lime. It's right there. Luckily, we were able to push it pretty close. So let's get everybody on that. We got the golden sniffer. That was worth so much. Wow. Let's charge everybody at that and see if we can get Ochi to bring him back. Just so it's there. We go. And please bring it back. Oh, Ochi got knocked off of it. Come here, Ochi. There you go. What does this black cloud do? Oh, we can, like, confuse all his Pikmin for a sec. Did we get it? We did. Okay. Um. One, two, three. I don't know if we're going to be able to beat him by more than 100. One, two, three, four, five. One. One. Then. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's going to be real close if we're able to. Ochi, grab that. Oh, it's going to be so close. Seven. Oh, we're beating him. We're beating him right now. We're beating him by... Oh, I think we got it. I think we're getting him by... Going to beat him by two points more. Or a hundred and two points more, but two points more than a hundred. So, perfect. So, we do get the max amount of reward from that. That was really close. I can't believe I lost so many Pikmin early on to my own bomb. That was such a horrible misplay, but... There we go. Dominated by at least a hundred points. Perfect. Again, you have shown mastering the art of Dandori. I leave the rest to you. Thank you, weird leafling creature. Thank you for your leafling hostage that I'm immediately going to cure in the morning. Let's get on out of here. Off they go again. Thankfully, we recovered the castaway save and sound. Impressive victory. Very stressful victory, I'll tell you what. Let's head on back. We still got, like, what, half the day left, so we can definitely get quite a bit more done. There was that other base I saw that I might want to go check out. Um... There's also that body of that crab that they didn't get to finish bringing back. Um, what else? That's all I can really think of them right now. Um, hmm. I mean, we have quite a bit to explore, too. There might be some more onions we can check out. Maybe some more flarlic bulbs, which would be incredible. Here we go. We're all back. Transport the castaway to the SS Beagle ASAP, Max and Ochi. Yep, sounds good. No, we're going to do the same numbers we had before. Look at the Ice Pikmin. Uh, can the Ice Pikmin even do that? No. Let's get... Oh, Ochi can't either. Okay, might have, we might have to stick down on Blues, but let's take care of this guy first. Same with this little water dumple. These things can be so annoying. Um, let's head up here. We'll get our Blues working on that. I might move the base back down here just while we're doing this. One, two, three. Oh, looks like there's something over here. Oh, it's a wall we can break down. Perfect. Okay, we'll get them working on that then. You too, Oach. And again, I'll move the base here just so the pick don't have to go as far. Perfect. 
Then I might get a few started working on that bridge, just in case we need it in the future for whatever reason. So, engineer guys. It's not like we're really lacking in raw material right now anyway, so you guys work on that. I'm going to probably go grab that, the head of that, or the head of the crab I saw. Let's ram into that guy. There we go. There's that castaway back, that leafling castaway, so we're probably not going to be able to check their ID. Nope. Unable to read data. Dang. Nothing, just like the others. All right, let's put the energy into finding curing these folks. Keep exploring. Let's jump on up here. Looks like there's something. Hopefully something good. Oh, nice. Some treasures. Okay. Perfect. One, two, two. Oh, we'll bring that body back. Why not? Let's ram into this uh, water dumple. Wasn't enough to knock it out, so we're going to throw a few Pikmin on him. That was easy enough. One, two, three. Saw a big pile of treasure here. We'll get our blues working on that. Then I think we head up and go grab that... Uh, the crab corpse. Clay bridge complete. Perfect. We'll go whistle those Pikmin up then. Come here, guys. And then whistle all these guys. That probably that bridge probably didn't need to be made, but it's a good thing we did. That just in case we need it later. If there's a flower pot for a shortcut I can break there. At some point, so let's keep in mind that it's there. When we come back tomorrow, the tide will probably be up too, so we'll probably need to use blue Pikmin for a while. It's Let's be wary of that. Um, looks like we can stick our ice pigment here to do something. Oh, there's a big treasure back there. And I, oh, whoa. Okay. Hey, dude. Let's take care of this guy first. Okay, freeze him. That's Honestly, that's fine. I, I really hate dealing with those guys, so if he's frozen. It's not a big deal. Let's get them working on this while we go get that crap corpse. Probably take them a while to beat it on their own, but like I said, we got we got nothing but time right now. We still got a little bit left in the day, so yeah, it looks like that's, oh, there's a few more things we can grab up here, so one, two, three. And then there was at least one more. Yeah, perfect. Was that all? Yeah, that's all we left up there. There's obviously that cave we can check out, so we'll do that at some point. There we go. Jump on down. Perfect. What about the other one? Nice. Oh, that takes 100. Can't Ochi do that by his own, on his own now? Oh, he can. Perfect. Okay, that's a good thing we got that upgrade then. That treasure's probably going to be worth quite a bit then. Uh, let's grab everybody. In here, guys. We'll wait for this crab to get back. I'm still waiting on one more crab, but that's fine. There it is. Oh, she's bringing back that big old watermelon. Good job, boy. Um, there's that wall we can break down. Looks like a oh whoa. Um, here, let's see if we can bait this guy to come at us. I I remember how these guys work when picking three. You're gonna want them to kind of lunge and then run out of the way and then charge him. Oh, we grabbed one of our blues. Okay, that's fine. We were able to take him out. Fair enough. Is there another one here, or is it just for him? Okay, it looks like he could do either of them. Oh, there's an enemy here, too. Let's take care of this. Whoa! Come here, everybody. Nope, come here. Can we charge at him? Okay, we can. Might as well just do that, then. Perfect. Another little water dump also. Another couple of them. Let's be careful. These things can... Weirdly enough, they're pretty good at getting your Pikmin. Just because they're kind of kind of tiny, you can kind of forget about them. Let's get our ice working on this. Uh, pull that out of the way, because that's obviously a nice little shortcut we can have. We've got Ochi back. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, one. We'll get everybody else working on this. Um, what else can we do? There's a golf ball. Looks like a treasure in here. Yeah, perfect. We've got all these ice Pikmin freed up now, so we'll, we'll get them working on that. Sounds like that wall is going down pretty easily. One, two, three, four, five. Did someone just come out of the grass there? I don't think so. They're wall demolished. Looks like there's a big treasure here. We'll grab OG onto that. Um, It's over here. Some, some gold nuggets. We'll have everybody do that as their last little thing for the day, I guess. And then, how many do we have left? 11? They can work on this bridge. They probably won't be able to finish it before the day ends, but they should get some good progress in, so. Uh, let's keep an eye on them, though, because the day is coming to an end soon. I don't really want to lose any Pikmin to the end of the day. That'd be kind of stupid, so. Let's head back to base. There should be a lot of Pikmin just chilling here. Why are these guys so far away? What the heck? That's weird. Everybody come here. 
Looks like that golf ball is finally making its way back. Oh, she's grabbing that big sponge-looking thing. And that pile of nuggets is transported. Perfect. We're going to head up and finish up building this bridge. Okay, we're reaching the time limit, so let's definitely be careful. Okay, shooting little water orbs at us. Oh, did you get them? Come here, dude. Ooh, I don't know if it's worth it. I don't think I'm... I think I'm going to call these guys back, honestly. The day is so close to ending, I don't really want to risk losing them, so... Come here, guys. We'll just get that tomorrow. It's not a big deal. Should be just this guy left, and then OG should be able to get that big sponge back. Uh, we'll spend the meantime just grab these pellets. Why not? The... The what's it called? Uh, 10 second countdown hasn't even started yet, so that's fine. We'll grab these last two. I'm starting to lose my voice. It feels like I've been talking so much today. Uh, there we go. Let's hop on OG. They should be able to finish that off. We got a lot of treasure back today. We obviously got our, our castaway back as well, which I'm very excited about. Probably cure him before we end the episode just to see what's going on. Except we're getting some red pigment. Probably, probably out of those. We're running pretty low at least, so. There's that countdown I was talking about. Let's make sure we have everybody. Should be up to 60. Yep, nice. 40 and 20, just like we, we started with. Um, Tomorrow we might head that direction and check out that big crab creature and that big old pile of... uh. Um, what's it called? Big old pile of raw material, and there's obviously like a Statue of Liberty looking treasure up there. Oh, there's a hole right here. I should have... Okay. Let's do that tomorrow too, then. We'll get Pikmin working on digging up what's ever in there. Or whatever is in there, I should say. There we go. Bring everybody back home. Lost none to the end of the day. Very, very nice. A very successful day. We got a lot done. Entirely new area, too, so... Our efficiency in this area has been... Incredible so far. I'm very proud of the work Ochi and our Pikmin have completed. Let's take on off. <clears throat> Whoa. Yeah, I really really should drink some water to give my voice a little rest after this. Head on back to base camp. Let's assess all the treasure we got. Uh, I wonder how much of the bait or the area we've really explored. Uh, obviously, we've we've checked out uh, none of the caves really so far other than the one that we chased that guy into or chased that weird creature into to get that castaway. I wonder if that's our captain, or our pilot. Could be. They did say they thought he was a leafling, so. Hello, everybody. We're back for, for once during the night, as opposed to coming back early in the morning now. There we go. Exploration results. Day 16. You guys are waiting cure. Our pup drive went up, too, since we saved him and cured him, which is kind of cool. Got lots of sparkly on that day. Look at that. How much was that watermelon worth, I wonder? 200? That's not even that much. That's all right. There we go. 15%. We did lose two pigments today. A single ice pigment. That's all right. So let's head on back. So this is ultra spicy nectar. With a color like that, it even looks spicy. It is the main ingredient in ultra spicy spray, after all. Want to try a lick? Hmm. <laughs> oh, why not? If only for quality control purposes. I want to provide my rescue officers with a faulty product. Now let's give it a try. Uh, current. Yeah, it's, it's ultra spicy nectar. I don't know why you did that. But look how fast you're moving. Just think, with this, you get twice the amount of work done in half the time. Um, perhaps. But I think ingesting this nectar directly poses some significant risks. Well, it's not for human consumption. It, it's made for, for my little Pikmin and Ochi buddies. I, I, it's also called Ultra Spicy Nectar. Why she, like, consumed that and expected it not to burn her was... It's completely beyond me. Anyway, let's cure this leafling. Let's see who it is. Hopefully our pilot. Fingers crossed. Really hoping it is. Then I think our rescue core is completely back together, which is kind of cool. Right. Mr. the Cure at once. Yes, Captain. Come on, Bernard. Come on, Bernard. Come on, Bernard. Oh, this looks like him. He's wearing that green. Bernard? Bernard, a veteran pilot who started in the private sector before joining the rescue corps. He's always brim brimming with optimism. There we go. We found all lost rescue officers. Go us. Look at that. The whole crew is back together. We found and cured the pilot Bernard. The rescue corps has been reunited. Perfect. Bernard, I'm pleased to see that you're back on your feet. Um, are you sure it's okay for you to be up and about already? Play cool, Dingo. Play cool. I appreciate your concern, Dingo, but I am good to go. It's strange. Since losing my leaves, I feel as light as a feather. Now the next time I get abandoned in the cave, I should be able to escape all on my own. Ha. Huh. What, what are you trying to say? So he's mad at me for running after all? Oh, nothing. Just a little joke. Good, good. Finally, all the members of our rescue corps are together again. 
I hereby reinstate our primary mission, the rescue of Captain Olimar. Copy that. Sounds good. Wowee, perfect response. It must be the secret weapon our captain's been talking to me about. Thank you very much for saving me. Excuse me, Captain. This may pertain to the subject of a certain Captain Olimar's whereabouts. I found a logbook entry that caught my interest. Let's see what he's talking about. Might find Olimar. At long last, my goal to collect all lost SS Dolphin parts is near, nearly complete. According to the ship's radar, the remaining pieces are inside a giant structure. My life support system is reaching its limit. One last push now. Wait, could that mean... While searching using our newly restored radar, we see a very strong SOS signal from inside a large structure. It must be coming from Captain Olimar. Commendable work. As always, the rest is up to you, Max Nochi. Officers, to your stations, please. Copy that. What? Has Ochi's tail always been so... green? It's kind of like the Pikmin leaf. That's definitely new, I feel like. Hasn't it always been a weird little pom-pom? That being said, though, episode is running a little long, and I do want to get, give you my voice a little break. It's getting a little sore, so thank you guys so much for watching. We got a lot done today. We explored an entirely new area. We saved Bernard. Our rescue core is back together. Next episode, we're heading back out to the Serene Shores to see what else it has to offer, so make sure to tune in for that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a good day.